Hi everyone, my name is Eleni Hadzivieri and I'm an assistant professor here at Heriot Watt and I'm the current program director of the two accounting MSCs we offer, the MSC Accounting and the MSC International Accounting and Finance. During this short presentation, I will take you through the different MSCs and the courses offered in each one of them. Starting with MSC Accounting, the main aim of this program is to equip you with the skills and knowledge required to succeed in an accounting related career. You may pursue a career in any aspect of the business function that requires expertise in accounting, a private or a public organization and not for profit organization. Also, this program intends to provide you with a route to gain professional qualifications in any accounted related field with a focus on the association of chartered certified accountants. On this MSc, you will take six mandatory courses and two elective courses. In semester one, the mandatory courses are auditing and assurance, financial accounting and reporting, and financial management. Auditing and Assurance will introduce you to the theory and practice of auditing. You will examine the role and objectives of audit, the context in which audits are carried out, and the practical skills required of auditors. Financial Accounting and Reporting will enable you to prepare a set of financial statements in accordance with the relevant accounting standards and will enable to provide an understanding of the issues, principles and theories underlying current developments in financial accounting and reporting. Financial management will provide you with an understanding of the different strategies that companies follow to maximize shareholder wealth. The course aims to provide an understanding of how finance theories are applied to a variety of practical situations and will enable you to gain practical experience of research and analysis in a financial strategy context. The two elective courses offered are Ethics and Governance and Financial Analysis. Ethics and Governance aims to create awareness of ethical responsibilities in professional accountants to enable them to resolve ethical issues. It also aims to explore the role of accountants in achieving effective governance and to help them understand their role in measuring economic, social and environmental performance of organizations and their implications on different stakeholders. Financial analysis will provide a systematic understanding of how to analyze the financial performance of an organization through the use of published financial information. It will provide with a, you with a conceptual understanding of accounting process and insights into the critical areas of advanced professional practice. In semester two, the mandatory courses are taxation, international managerial accounting and research methods. Taxation will help you develop an understanding of the theoretical framework of taxation and the practical skills and knowledge of UK personal income and capital gain tax rules and calculations and of UK corporation tax rules and calculations. International managerial accounting will enable you to assess and apply a range of accounting techniques that are used for performance evaluation, for planning, for decision-making and control in the management of companies and their organizations nationally and internationally. The Research Methods course will prepare you for the summer dissertation and for future research in the academic or non-academic sectors. You will be exposed to both dominant modes of research in accountancy and finance, which are qualitative and quantitative research, and you will also be given practical help on the steps required for the successful completion of the MSc dissertation. The two elective courses are Financial Information Systems and Comparative Financial Reporting. Financial Information Systems is a course 
that will enable you to develop an understanding of the concepts as well as the practical skills required by accounting and finance professionals, not only as users, but also as designers, evaluators, and managers of computer-based financial information systems. Comparative financial reporting will provide you with an international perspective to the study of accounting, so that you can develop an understanding of the reasons for national differences, the tendencies towards harmonization, and the problems of multinational companies. This course will also help you to develop skills of analyzing and evaluating financial reports prepared in other countries, not just the UK. During the summer, and upon successful completion of the courses, you will have to do a dissertation, which will help you develop a range of research skills and demonstrate specialist accounting knowledge. The MSc in Accounting and Finance aims to equip you with highly employable expertise and a thorough understanding of current issues in global financial markets, both academically and professionally. On this MSc, you will take six main courses and two elective courses. Financial analysis in semester one is the same course for which I provided information earlier on. International Accounting Standards course will enable you to apply selected international accounting standards and to reflect on current practice by critically appraising the international accounting literature. You will evaluate theories and empirical studies in the areas covered by international standards of accounting. The aim of the corporate finance course is to introduce you to some contemporary topics in corporate finance and their reflections on the fundamental decisions to be taken within the corporate finance world. The capital markets course, which is an elective course, will give you a critical understanding of capital markets, the nature of securities traded in them, and the price setting process. Corporate governance, which is the second elective course offered, will help you develop an understanding of issues relating to corporate governance and the financial research methods used to approach them. The first two mandatory courses in semester two international managerial accounting and research methods have been explained earlier on. The course International Accounting Theory examines the process of construction and verification of the accounting theory. It will help you develop an understanding of the theoretical framework within which accounting currently operates and the nature and development of accounting theory and of how a coherent accounting theory requires the justification of existing accounting practices. Comparative financial reporting, the first elective course, has already been explained earlier on. Research in finance will address quantitative methods used in the research in the area of finance and financial markets. It will extend the knowledge from the research methods course by equipping you with contemporary methodologies that are used in analysis of time series, cross-sectional and panel data and event studies. The course is focused both on the theory and on practical applications in the computer lab using popular econometric software packages. The Emerging Financial Markets course will complement the understanding required by you of mainstream finance during the year and to apply it to the specific circumstances of emerging financial markets. The Accounting Profession Society course will take you through alternative theoretical dimensions to understanding accounting as well as the accounting profession and their role in contemporary society and will explore future dimensions that are related to the sustainability of the accounting profession globally and will also address issues related to equality and professional exclusion and inclusion. In this MSc, similar to the one presented above, during the summer 
and upon successful completion of the different courses, you will have to do a dissertation which will help you develop a range of research skills and demonstrate specialist related knowledge. That's all for me. We would really like you to join us. I really wish you good luck. Bye!